are important to know about colonoscopies. All right. You guys know this segment is uh, about 95% of it is me talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm talking to myself about this today because the time has come for, for your boy to yep. step up and be uh, a, a true adult. Big boy. But I've been talking. We have a couple of men in the building and have already done this. And uh, there were things, the questions I had for them. And they're like, oh, dude, you're completely wrong. So I started thinking about all these myths that we have, misconceptions about the colonoscopy and the whole procedure. Let's talk about that, debunk these myths, and get on the road towards a, a healthier existence. All right, number one, a lot of folks think it's painful. Absolutely not. It is a procedure that is conducted, and you are under an anesthesia the whole time. The patient will be asleep, and you'll be comfortable, and you won't even know what is happening. Now, the only thing that is a little bit uncomfortable is the prep that you have to go through to get ready for this. That involves you not eating for quite some time and drinking a particular substance that people do not like. But you make your way through it, get yourself prepared for the procedure itself, pain-free, no, no big deal at all. Easy breezy, you make your way right on through it. Number two, they say it can't prevent cancer. Oh, really? Absolutely wrong. It can. You see, cancer starts with precancerous polyps that are in the colon area. With the colonoscopy, they're able to go in there and remove those precancerous polyps. The word there is precancerous. They remove it before it can develop into colon cancer. That's why it's so important. That's why it's a huge tool to help prevent cancer. Number three, I don't need one. So I actually said that myself. So I went to my doctor when I turned 50 and took what's called the pre-screening. And that's where you, you do some things at home on your own time and send those labs, those results into the lab. And those results came back fine. They're like, you're good to go. And I'm like, oh, well, I don't need one. And that's the face my doctor made when I said that to him. Mm. He was like, really? Mm -hmm. You think you don't need one? You do need one. In fact, 30% of men and 20% of women will develop precancerous polyps in their colon, and those will eventually increase as you get older. Then he told me that African-American men are more susceptible to this, so I actually should have started my screening at the age of 45. But I'm waiting till 50. So yeah, you do need one. And that's the face your doctor will make when you say you don't need one. It's like, are you serious? You've got to get this done. Number four, some folks say there's a high rate of complications. Wrong. For every 1,000 procedures, 2.8 of them may have an issue. And when you go into situations like maybe a hole in the bowel, that happens 0.1% of the time. Uh, don't have a lot of high rate of complications at all. In fact, it goes very well for most situations. And the last thing you want to think about some folks say they are expensive. Nope. If you have insurance, it will cover the basic parameters of your procedure. There may be some out-of-pocket expenses, but those are usually minimal as well. Obviously, check with your doctor and your insurance to find out exactly if it's covered. But it's not an expensive procedure, and it's usually covered by all insurance. These are five things, five myths about the colonoscopy and the procedure that all men have to go through, women as well. Don't wait until it is too late. Don't wait until they make you go. Do it on your own. That's five things to know. To find out more, go to GoodDaySacramento.com. Click on Show Info for today's date. And man up for taking your health to heart. Coming right back. You see?